In this video, we're gonna go over making our own drum programs and saving them, and also sampling drum one shots from records. We're gonna be doing this and much more in this video, so let's get into it. So we're gonna be sampling this record to get some drum one shots, and then we're gonna create a program, and then we're gonna use that program to make a beat using a sample that we get from a different record. Let's get into it. So I found a spot right here, I'm just gonna click arm and I'm gonna play. So right here, I'm actually going to take it off of vinyl, make it none, and then we're going to keep that because I don't want it to be on any program. I want to go into the sample edit right here and chop it from there. So let's get into it. We're going to go hop over to the other desk and we're going to get to chopping. Okay, so now we're going to chop up the drums that I just recorded. Just so you know, we are already on a drum program that I created yesterday when I was sampling some vinyls. So today we're basically going to be doing the same thing. I'm gonna create a new drum program, different than this one. What I did with this one was just got the vinyl drum one shots and then layered them with some drum sounds that I already have. So there's that. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but with a new sample and new drum sounds. Let's go into menu and we're gonna go to sample edit. Now when we have this highlighted red, let's just click the cogwheel. Let's go down, I think I accidentally sampled it as dialogue one. I had a different little dialogue that I found in the sample and it just duplicated the, the title. So don't forget to name your samples so you know what they are. In this case, I, I do know what it is, so I'm not really tripping. Let's go ahead, let's click that. Okay, so we wanna bring it in to where we want the sample to start. So let's go in there. So we're gonna start it right at this kick drum right here. So we're gonna loop it around here. We're gonna keep that. What we wanna do here is click process. So what I would usually do in a scenario where I'm making a beat, I would go to extract and just make a new sample out of what we just cut down. But in this case, I'm going to discard the outer area, and now we're going to stem separate this. So up here in the upper right, let's go ahead, let's stem separate it, you know what's up. We're going to, we're gonna take this off, we don't want it to go to anything. Okay, so once it finished, we're just going to go up here and we're going to search, there we go, for the drums. Okay, so we have a kick, we have a snare, and we have a hi-hat, it looks like in this, so let's determine what may be the best one shots to cut out. Okay, so we're gonna go to trim. We're gonna go to, let's go to threshold actually. First, what you wanna do is make sure each chop that you're separating, make sure it's highlighted. So we're doing this hi-hat right here. When we're in there, we're gonna use the EQ as well, cutting some lows or highs or adding highs or lows if necessary. But what we wanna do here is have this highlighted, click shift, and then we're gonna click process. Now we want to extract this, and we're gonna name this, actually no, I'm gonna name this vinyl hat. And then do it, now we have a vinyl hat, okay? But now we're going to do the same thing to a kick and a snare. I really like that second one, so we're gonna do it to that. Now let's find our kick. I think that's our kick. Let's go ahead, let's cut it out. Shift, process, name that. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm just naming it vinyl kick because I literally just got it from the vinyl. So that's what we doing, do it. Okay, once we are in here, we're going to go back to main Okay, so when we get to main, what I wanna do from here is create a new sequence. All we gotta do is just scroll on over to the next one. And I'm gonna name this Vinyl Kit 01, 001. Let's set it up for 100. And then what we wanna do is create a new track and it's going to be a drum track. And once we have the new drum track open, we wanna go into the program editor 
You can find it in the menu, but I have it as part of my hotkeys right here on the left-hand side. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna click that and we're gonna get into this blank field right here. I'm gonna click on sample, click the cog wheel, and then we get into this screen. We're gonna go all the way down and there's the chops that we just got, the vinyl hat, vinyl kick, and vinyl snare. So now right here, I'm just gonna load up the sounds. I'm gonna go into memory again, go all the way down, kick, and then hi-hat where I want it to be. Okay, so that's sounding kind of cool. We're going to add an EQ and cut the lows on the hi-hat. So we cut the mids a little bit, we cut the lows. I cut the lows pretty much completely and I'm cutting the mids. So you just wanna play around with it. So for comparison. So we just made a pretty solid hi-hat right there. So we're gonna do the same thing for, this is gonna be a little tedious, so I'm gonna move on ahead to the snare. I'm gonna do this other hi-hat right now, but I'm gonna move on to the snare and then show you what's up with that one. Okay, so now we're on the snare. First one I wanna do is go back to the sample area and we're going to bring this back because I noticed there's a little click in the snare and I don't want that. Okay, so now we fix that. We're gonna go back to effects. Let's go into the uh, para EQ. So I'm gonna kill some of these lows And I'm actually gonna go back into the hi-hats because I just realized I didn't cut any of these lows right here. So I'm gonna cut these. Okay, so we're gonna go into this one as well. Cut these lows. We're gonna mess with the kick a little bit too, but now it's sounding pretty, pretty solid. That's sounding pretty good. So now let's go to the kick. We're gonna do again the para EQ, but this time we're gonna do it a little bit different. So right here, you see there's a high and low cut. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna click that, and we're gonna mess around with this part. So for this kick, I'm gonna cut just 25 hertz right there, kind of just right above where we can't hear naturally. So I'm cutting a little bit of that, that mud, hopefully. And then we're gonna mess around with this a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna go back to the EQ. We're gonna cut some of these, uh, some of these mids and some of the highs as well. Okay, now we're gonna throw a, a compressor on this kick. We're just gonna do a basic air compressor. So it's sounding pretty thumpy, pretty good for us to go ahead and layer another kick on top of that and a snare and a hi-hat on top of the other ones too. So now let's go dig through the arsenal and just layer some drums that I have in my library. You can do the same follow along with drums and other sounds that you have in your library too while I'm doing this. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna double click menu and now you get greeted to your library of things. So I'm actually going to go to content. I have some sounds, so I'm gonna go to Probably like Jay Dilla. Okay, so we're gonna get this kick drum, but first, before we load this kick, I'm actually gonna load it to pool because I don't want it to go to any of these pads. So let's go ahead, we're gonna load it to pool. So I'm gonna get that one, we're gonna load it to pool. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna get a hi-hat. Okay, I'm just gonna Keep that one. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to main. So with these vinyl sounds that we got, they're really not hitting. So we're gonna go in here and turn the volume up. So let's go to sample edit. We're gonna go to shift, process, and normalize. Okay, so that's sounding pretty good and loud. Now let's go ahead and let's layer these drums. So let's double click in here. And now we're gonna go to layer. So let's click layer, click your sample, cog wheel memory. Now we're gonna go find those Jay Dilla sounds that we got and just kind of scroll through which one. Okay, so I'm gonna cut some of that. 
So we cut the tails of both of these ones, the vinyl and the J Dilla kick, and it's sounding pretty damn good. So let's go ahead, let's click sample right here. Let's do the Q link over here. Let's see what it sounds like with and without. So I'm just blending them right now. That actually sounds pretty thumping. So from this screen, we can actually do the same thing. So we're gonna go into the snare now, and we're gonna click right here. Let's go ahead, let's scroll through. So now, we're gonna blend it. Okay, that's sounding pretty damn good. Okay, that's sounding all right. I'm gonna turn down the vinyl hat because I already know that the other one turned down a little bit. So, you know, just use your head a little bit. So there you go. We have a drum program right here, layered with, in my opinion, some pretty dope drums. So I wanna save this as a drum program. So we're gonna to go to save up here, and then we're going to click drum program. So I'm just gonna put it in my drive, my thumb drive actually. All right, we're gonna name it 002 because I already made one. Let's do it. We're gonna save. And now that's saved. So there you go. Once you have your drum program saved, you could turn your machine off, turn it back on, load your drum program up, giving you a unique template that you made to help you start making your beat quicker. So let's get back into it. Let's finish this beat. Okay, so now that we have this drum beat recorded, let's go in and chop some samples and make a very dope beat. Let's get into it. Okay, so we have the drum beat laid out. Let's go ahead and let's go chop the sample. We're gonna go to menu, we're gonna go to sample edit, and we're gonna search for this sample. So I saved it as sample melody. Let's see what's up. Okay, so what I wanna do here is just do a random chop. So we're gonna go to region. Okay, so after chopping these up, I reverse some of these. So I only did that to a couple of them. Let's go ahead and make a quick little backbone to the beat. So what I wanna do now is create a bass line to this. So we're gonna go and plug in this keyboard right here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and plug it right in the back. There's two USB ports. So I'm gonna plug this USB in there or in one of them because I have a thumb drive in my other one. Okay, so now we have that plugged in. So now we're going to add a bass plugin. So let's click plugin. So for the plugin, we're going to choose hype. Let's go to one of the presets. Let's go to hard, hard bass maybe. Let's see what's up. A lot of these are like really, really attacky. Okay, so I found more of like a, I don't even know, I think like a dubstep kind of bass, but I'm gonna use it and we're gonna make something a little bit different here. So there you have it. We went ahead, we sampled some drums from a record. We chopped them up. We made them into separate samples. We layered them with other sounds that we have available to us. And then we went ahead and saved our drum program so we can have it for later use. So I hope you learned something. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out, and I really appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.